What's up guys this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips Query tutorial so this is part 10th of this video series in this video I'll be discussing about the jQuery traversing especially the parent element traversal methods okay so here we have three categories parent element traversal child element traversal and sibling element traversal so in the in this video I will just cover the parent element traversal methods so here we have parent parents and parents until method okay so let's get started so in the previous tutorial we have just discussed about the on off and one methods so let's have the view and let's see the example so uh, with the on off and one method we can attach one or multiple handlers so this is uh, the these are the example of those okay so here you can see when I click on the first so it this is the example of simple handler then we have multiple event types so you can see here uh, when I enter my mouse inside this see when I enter my mouse so the event get fired and when I click then event get fired okay so here we can also pass the data inside that okay so you can see all these example in previous video so go and watch that okay so let's fulfill our today's objective now first of all I'll just remove everything from here just delete that and here just delete that okay and instead of button class I'll just choose ancestor okay let's create a div and pass the class ancestor okay and here I'll just create another div and inside that I'm just taking an unordered list and then list and then take a span here okay so this is your child element because we just need to talk about the parents so first of all we start with the child and then this is your direct parent parent okay uh, let's say has list okay so list is your direct parent and unordered list is your great sorry grandparent okay hash jewel okay and this div is your great grand parent okay let's say hash diff okay so this is your child element let's if you uh, if you just consider it as a child element then this list is a direct parent then grandparent and then this great grandparent okay and this is ancestor okay and now I'm just applying let's save changes and let's reload this here you, you will have your list okay so let's apply some CSS property into this so first of all display block okay and then give a padding here padding 10 px and then give margin 10 px and then give a border color border 2 pixel solid and let's say gray okay now let's refresh it so your ancestor has got the gray color border and just you just need to put a space here and then asterisk okay 
asterisk will select all the element just descendant to this ancestor okay so except this element all will get the gray border okay let's see okay so here is your child element then direct parent then grandparent and then great grandparent okay and this is your ancestor let's reload it okay so this is your an ancestor and then here is your element now just we will discuss all all three methods here so the first is parent method second is parents and third is parent and un parents until let's discuss about the first one so first of first of all i'll just select that element okay so span element let's remove this space and move this style on okay so here is your span element so I have just selected it and just applied the parent and dot I'm just applying the border CSS and, and curly braces just pass border to px solid red okay so the this parent method will return the direct parent of this child element okay so as you can see the list is the direct parent of uh, this child element okay now let's refresh this here you will see the direct parent has got the red border okay now let's create another div here okay and here instead of another list I'll just take paragraph and inside that paragraph again I'll just take another paragraph okay or you can just remove this single I'll just take single one so this is this paragraph is the direct parent of this span let's say para graph okay and then remove this create parent okay so this div is your great and uh, grandparent so let's make it div okay so this this is your uh, child and then your direct parent and then your div okay so when you select your parent so it will select all the parent of selected element so here we have two span here okay so let's reload it and you will see all this span has uh, some parent so let's see the direct parent is paragraph here and here the direct parent is list okay so that has been selected okay now the second condition is I just want to pass a selector inside this okay as a parameter so just go step one and here okay and I just want to filter that parent okay I just I don't want to uh, let's say put this uh, parent to get the port red okay so let's make a filter here so here we have a paragraph and here we have the list okay so I'll just pass the paragraph and let's see what's gonna happen 
so here you can see the uh, the this the child the child has the paragraph as a parent has been filtered out okay and if I pass the list so here you can see the list has been selected okay so the list has got the more preference though it is also a parent of that this child okay so this is example of parent now we will discuss the parents okay so just copy that and comment this now the second method is parents so instead of parent I'll just use parents okay and here for the time being just remove just comment this control KC and just re reload it okay so here you will see that this child element if you set if you use the parents method then it will just all the parents of this child element will be selected here you can see okay so the direct list uh, and list is also a parent then uh, this is the grandparent then great grandparent and then ancestor also has got the uh, red border okay so this is how can you uh, use the uh, parents element okay now here is the selector now the second condition is filtering filtering the parents you don't want all the parents instead of that you just want only the filtered out parents so here we have div let's say I just pass this filter let div okay so this this is my span and the filtered out parents is div then this two will be selected let's try it try this okay so my ancestor got selected because it is a div and the great grandparent is also selected because it is also a div element okay so here you can uh, here you can in this way you can just uh, filter out your parent okay and let's say you just want to filter the another list okay here you can see okay so the parent which has got an order list so that will get the red potter okay and even that uh, you can also uh, put a class let's say div1 okay and with class also you can put any selector here so dot with div1 so in this case div1 should be selected okay so great grandparent has been selected okay so now let's discuss the third scenario or third method that is parent parents until okay let's copy that and just comment this and paste it here and use dot parent here you will see all three methods now we will discuss parent until and just remove the selector first okay so in parent until we just pass the uh, uh, selector to stop that uh, it will select all the uh, all the parents until you just stop it okay let's try this okay so this this is a child and we have just got each and every uh, parents has got the red border okay and now if you pass let's say I just pass on order list okay so it will not uh, this another list will not get uh, the red border and inside that my uh, direct parent will get the red border okay until until that selector okay and let's suppose if I just pass div element let's say 
here if I pass div so it will stop when it finds the div element okay so first parent second parent is okay so list is okay unordered list is okay and when it finds the div element it just ignore it just uh, all the all the descendant parents has got the border red okay so that that is uh, the use of this parent until 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 you get the div element you will you will uh, your all parents will be selected okay so if I just put this ancestor here dot ancestor and let's see reload it so up to ancestor see the ancestor is not selected and all the descendant parents of this span element has been has got the red border okay so this is how you can use parent until's parent and parents method okay so hope you understood this concept and uh, if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and in the next tutorial we will discuss about the child element traversal and then we will discuss about the sibling element traversal okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day